Hello, my schoolers. You are welcome to my school channel. We'll be tackling the 2019 Jam Pass question for biology. So, in this clip, we'll be solving question number 21 to question 40. Be sure to check the links in the description below so you can get the other video clips that provide solutions to the questions for the year 2019. So, join me as we tackle question number 21. A population is best described as a group of the same species of organisms living together. That makes option A very correct. We have question 22 right before us. The number of times an organism occurs within a given area of a habitat is referred to as what? This is referred to as population frequency. Because frequency talks about the number of times of occurrence. So option B is very correct. So we have question number 23 right before us. So reading the verdict of a case by a magistrate is an example of this is definitely a voluntary action which is con uh, controlled by the forebrain, the cerebrum in the forebrain. Other voluntary actions like reading, like walking, like running, like jump, jumping, even making judgment. So definitely the question we have before us describes the answer, a voluntary action. So option D is correct. So don't forget that you can download the My School mobile app or get your My School software using the link in the description below that will take you to the My School website where you get further instructions in assessing any of these tools. So, we have question number 24 before us. Which of the following structures control the activities of the living cell? Definitely, it is done by the nucleus. Okay, so option A is very correct. So, do not forget to hit the like button. Click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get informed as we release the next videos. Here we are at question 25. Which of the following are components of glomerular filtrates? Okay, so it contains water, it contains salt, it contains urea, glucose, and what have you. So option C correctly describes the answer we are looking for. All the components of the blood except plasma, protein, and cells. So option C is very correct. Question 26. The sum total of adaptive changes from pre-existing form that have taken place over a long time, resulting in diversity of forms, structures, and functions among organisms is referred to as organic evolution. So option D is correct. Question number 27. The specific portion of a habitat which is occupied by a particular species is referred to as the ecological niche. Okay, that particular part or portion of the habitat where a particular organism, where they live, where they interact with the environment, that particular part is referred to as an ecological niche. So, option B is very correct. Please remember that you can ask your questions right now. Using the link in the description below, it takes you to the My School website where the several solution providers are waiting for you to ask your questions so you can get clarity. So join me as we tackle question number 28. In plants, respiration occurs in what part? It can even occur through their flowers, it can occur through the leaves, the opening of the stomata, it can occur through the lens itself found in the branches of the plants, it can also occur through the roots from the air spaces found in the soil. Okay, so we can typically say that respiration occurs in all parts of the plants or all living cells. So option C is very correct. So do not forget that at one point or the other you would like to share or give contribution on any of the questions we have solved so far. Or perhaps you have recommendation to improve the contents we are sharing with you. Please indicate the question number and the solution you would like to share. So we have question 29. 
which of the following is an example of discontinuous variation? Discontinuous variation like blood group, okay, uh, resistance to bacteria, genetic disorder. It just talks about differences when it comes to the character or characteristic that the offspring or the next generation will carry. So it's not something that is regular that goes on and on. So we can go through the options together. You discover that option B describes offspring including two male cats and three female cats. The next offspring or the next generation might be two male cats and two female cats. So this is an example of a discontinuous variation. So option B is very correct. So we have question 30. Which of the following type of soil has the highest water retaining capacity? This is due to the small airspace or pores that is available in that kind of soil and that kind of soil is a clay this soil. So option C is correct. Here we had question number 31. Rabbits cannot survive in an aquatic habitat because they have option A, four and in limbs, no. This doesn't prevent them from surviving in an aquatic habitat. Option B, because they have no gills. Of course, you need gills for exchange of gases in the water, to breathe in water. Option C, because they have no fins. There are other animals in the water that have no fins, but they also survive in water, like for instance, your water snake. Okay? Option D, they have no scales. This is incorrect, because animals that even have scales can survive on land. Animals like reptiles, okay? Animals like even reptiles that I mentioned, like snakes too, they can get into water and survive. So a rabbit cannot survive in water because it has no gill. So option B is very correct. So here we have question number 32. Which of the following substances pass through the root cell membrane by osmosis? So the substances that move through the root cell through the process of osmosis, they have water and mineral salts. So when we go through the options together, we'll find water in option D. So option D is correct. Question 33. Trees in savanna habitats usually have a thick bark, which mainly reduces the rate of transpiration or water loss. So option A is very correct. So remember, that you can have a simulated jam CBT exam using the MySchool mobile app or purchasing the MySchool software. With the link I have provided you in the description below, you'll be directed to the MySchool website where you can obtain further in instructions on how to get any of these tools. So join me as we tackle question number 34. Competition among individuals of a population increases what? Option A, the number of organisms no. Option B, availability of nutrient supply. No. It's even a reverse because there are, there's, there's an increase in population. Therefore, the rate of consumption of available nutrients or food will drop. Option C, it implies survival of the fittest. Only the stronger dominates the weaker. Okay? Only, so it, it talks about the fittest, the strongest of the population will survive. Option D, enlargement of the territory already there is competition so the territory will not enlarge is that the weaker ones will be chased out of the territory so going through our options together option c is very correct competition among individuals of a population increases the survival of their fittest so you can see that our option is very correct so do not forget to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get informed as we release the next videos. We have question 35 right before us. In natural selection, Darwin proposed that evolution occurred because of the following conditions, except option A, that nature selects those that will survive to reproduce their kind, that's correct. Option B, there is a first competition between or among the offspring, that's correct. Option C, that the weaker offspring are eliminated, that's very correct, according to Darwin's theory of evolution. Option D, food and other needs are, in, are abundant, this is incorrect, 
because in natural selection, evolution occurred because of these three factors and not due to the abundance of food and other needs. So that makes option D correct. Question 36. Which of the following substances has the highest amount of energy in joules per unit weight? Okay, so the substance is fat. Okay, so because after fat, then we have um, protein, then carbohydrates. So option B is correct. Fat have, has the highest amount of energy in joules per unit weight. Question 37. Which of the following pairs of scientists discovered the resource factor in human blood? At first, resource factor is just a protein, okay, that is present outside of the blood cell. So, if it is present, it shows a positive resource factor. If it is absent, that shows a negative resource factor. And the two people that, two scientists that discovered it, they are Philip Lavine or, and, um, Landestein, Carl Landestein, so Philip Lavine and Carl Landestein. So if we go through our options together, we have option C. So option C is very correct. So always remember that you can ask your questions right now with the link I have provided in the description below. Click on it, you'll be taken to the My School website where several solution providers are waiting just to answer any questions you would like to ask. So let's tackle question number 38. The study of an individual organism or a single species of organisms and its environment is what? That is horticology. Studying a single organism or a particular species of organism. Then going to the other side of it, that's psychology that talks about you studying different species of organisms. So without further ado, the option that is correct is option A. So far in the video clips, perhaps you may have one or two explanations or contributions you would like to share. Please indicate the question number and the explanation you would like us to know in the comment section below. Here we are at question number 39. Which of the following is a nitrifying bacterium okay, that fixes nitrogen back to the soil? converting ammonia to nitrate okay examples are nitrobacter nitrosomonas nitrosococcus okay and what have you so going through our options option b nitrobacter is a nitrifying bacterium so option b is very correct so here we are at question 40 which of the following is the effect of using artificial pollination in plant breeding okay production of healthy crops lengthening the maturity time of crops making crops susceptible to disease d improvement of the variety of crops when you do artificial pollination you introduce the anthers of a plant to the stigma of a particular plant because you want to improve the variety of crop you want to get as a particular trait or traits you would like the next generation to have so artificial pollination helps improve the variety of the crop produced. So we have come to the end of this segment, but there is definitely more to come. I know you would like me to bring you more of this sort of content. You can do that by hitting the like button, clicking on the subscribe button and tapping on bell notification so you can get informed as the next videos are released.